Okay, this particular coach that I'm at right now is a, a D102 series MCI coach. Uh, this particular unit here, the battery compartment is along the side. You have your fuel compartment here where you add your fuel, and here's where you access your batteries, which you shut off. So to access this, you just pull your door open, flare up to you, and then you can... Uh, here's your mechanism here to lock this door open like so so then you can stand back and see what it is that you're dealing with so here you have your your shut off for your master disconnect and your batteries down below as you can see this particular unit we also have your um your your, your chalk three wheels if you need them you have your your triangles for emergency and some extra belts and whatnot okay as you can see i put some new batteries in Just a couple of notes here this is a d8 battery it's a 12 volt big ass battery, bigger than a truck battery. So you get a pair of 12 volts. Combined the way we have it set up here, you have your ground post here, going to your negative on the first battery, going from your positive to the negative on the second battery, and the positive going to your shut off, making 24 volt system. If you wire this incorrectly, you will have a problem. It's a note. If you need to ever boost one of these buses, what you need to do is ideally use a 24 volt charger back at the back. However, if you don't have access to a 24 volt charger, you have a tow truck or um, a regular 12 volt, what you can do is independently hook one battery. For example, the rear battery seems to draw more power than the front battery. So what I typically will do in this situation is I'll, I'll charge the back battery for say 15 minutes and then I'll unhook, make sure you unhook the ground first and then do this one. Then you hook your positive either way. So you want to do your positive and then your negative on your front battery. And again, allow that to run for say 15 minutes. That's usually enough to get the thing to crank over. Uh, the reason I unhook the ground first is if you accidentally leave the ground on and then you put your, your positive on here, you have 24 volts here which is going to feed back to your 12 volt source and you could have some problems such as a battery exploding or whatever on your charging device back of this particular coach this is the d102 mci you open up your back hatch and down here you have your your place where you can uh, boost for your 24 volt charging system um, typically it's the best place to boost because it's closer to the motor thus being closer to the starter so you have your negative here and your positive here so you just pull this little cap off to access your terminal make sure however you do not connect a 12 volt charging system to here as you will damage something for sure